How are you reading the situation arising out of the entire tapering issue? Because that was that one big issue which consumed all of us. We saw a recent development in that. The reason I'm asking you this is because now increasingly a few experts, not too many, are saying that while, yes, we are a comparative, we've got to be seen as comparatively from the point of view of other economies, but our reliance and dependence on FIIs as a market, given the fact that our domestic investors have been sitting out, is so high that therefore we could get impacted far more. Do you, do you hold that view? No, I think so. See, it's a given that U.S. interest rates have been low with the purpose yeah. and they can't remain so low forever. So U.S. interest rates will go up, cost of capital will go up. and uh, But I think this QE withdrawal, we should not read too much into it because I think at the same time U.S. fiscal deficit is also moderating. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the two together, I think things should be okay for me. Mm -hmm. And 80 billion becomes 70 billion, it may not directly impact India. But I think reliance on debt capital flows is not advisable for India and that is what has changed in last few years mm. that we have increasingly borrowed money and when US interest rates go up debt capital flows will be vulnerable so we must increase our savings increase our investments reduce our current account deficit and we must reduce the reliance on borrowed dollars mm. but is that happening according to you I think current account the worst is clearly behind us and I mean, we could have probably done it a little earlier. We could have taken steps because current account was running very high for number of years. Gold imports had been increasing for four or five years. But now I think the worst is behind us. I think current account is improving on multiple fronts. If you look at the pre-oil, pre-gold trade deficit, that is beginning to moderate because our export destinations are beginning to recover. and the economy itself is slowing down. So, and the currency depreciation is also making exports more competitive and imports more expensive. I think gold imports are also beginning to moderate. And I think one key reason is that gold in local currency terms is now delivering, is not delivering returns that are superior to bank deposits, mm. which has what has happened for last four or five years. So, I think there is a tendency or there is an inclination to move uh, away from gold into bank deposits back. I think high bank deposit rates are also helping that trend. Hello and welcome to